drawing the human head in particular, we are gonna be drawing eyes right now. Hanging out with me is Mr. James Polony. James is an actor and he's been in a bunch of movies that you've seen like Red Dawn and all kinds of cool stuff. But the thing I'm excited to share with you guys, he also plays a character named Shen in the Aladdin 3477 trilogy. Among other, you play all these people in the background, but also you play the Noodle Master, uh, which people don't know what that is yet, but you are gonna love the Noodle Master, and you're also, everyone's gonna fall in love with Shen because uh, the character is just great. But today we're gonna talk eyes. So, first thing we're gonna do, if you haven't already watched the video on drawing the female eyes, you need to do that. But what we're gonna do, the eyes are always halfway from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. That's where the eye line is. So we're gonna go ahead and add that eye line here. Then the eyes are five eyes across. So we need to guesstimate five equal spaces. We're gonna do that here. And now it's time to add in the eyes. Now, I talked in the previous series of videos for drawing the female eyes. I drew the female eyes here. And the question is, actually I'm curious, James, do you know, is there an anatomical difference between male eyes and female eyes? No. Very good, there is not. Our eyes are actually the same. So if you look at me and my sister Delina, uh, not the one that's adopted that I talked about last time, uh, my sister Delina, uh, we, we have the same mom and dad. We both look like my dad. She's very beautiful, but she, uh, she looks like my dad too. And if you look at our eyes, our eyes are exactly the same. The difference though is that she usually has different uh, makeup that accentuates her eyes, and that's kind of the part that makes it uh, more feminine. So the shape of the eye is the same. And so one of the things that you can do when drawing the shape of the eye, in addition to drawing the shape like this, because guys aren't wearing makeup, usually I've got some, I'm rocking the guy liner right now, but usually it's not as dark on the bottom. So one of the things that you can do is we've got the tear duct here. You kind of got the shape of the eyes here, but then don't actually draw in this line separating because that almost looks like a uh, guy liner. And it's just too much by having that there. So if you get rid of this line here, that will kind of help. And some people will say, ah, but then the white of the eye is just bleeding into the rest of the face. But from far away, you really don't see a dark line under there usually with the gents. So that's the first thing you can do. Next up, our eyelashes are also thicker on top, so you can make that a little bit thicker like so. However, one thing that you can do to make your eyes look a little bit more masculine is usually uh, guys, even if you're wearing eyeliner, usually we're not wearing mascara. And so we don't have the wispies that are just kind of Hello, you know, kind of like that. So when you're drawing the male eyes, one thing you can do, you can make this whole area darker here, but just get rid of the wispies. It's just a little too much. And look at that already, that eye is so much more masculine, right? Uh, you still have a crease above the upper eyelid. Sometimes James actually does not have the crease. Uh, J uh, James is a K-pop sensation. Um, he is Korean and his eye shape, uh, his upper eyelids go under and you just do not see the crease. Is it better or worse? It just depends on who you're drawing. It's cool either way. Uh, I've got the creases here just to put them in to show you where they would go if you were drawing them. And then we've got the pupil as per usual. That's gonna be the same. Sorry. The You've got the iris, that's gonna be the same. We've got the pupil, which is in the center. We've got the highlight. And then we've got the shadow in the darkest part of the color of the eye. The brightest part is refracting over here. Like so. And there you have it. You don't want to put the lines under the eyes or anything like that. And there is your dreamy male eyes. You guys need to come back for the next video because I'm going to talk about noses and I am going to give you the secret to drawing 
male lips and how to make it look like your male lips aren't wearing lipstick. So come back for the next video.